Welcome back to HRTV. Walking Jaime with you in studio coming up on Saturday night. Big program out at Charlestown, which is headlined by the $350,000 Grade three Charlestown Oaks. That will be race number 11, and it will be part of a late pick four sequence. And that's what we're gonna dive into right now. It begins in race number eight with a $30,000 starter handicap, and three of the four races in that pick four sequence will be stakes events. Let's dive into race number eight, $30,000 starter handicap. For three year olds end up going six and a half furlongs, field of 10, and for me, this is where I get my price. It's gonna be pretty quick in my analysis in race eight because I have no opinion. The only opinion I have is that any one of these 10 horses to me can win this race. In the fairway, your five to two morning line favorite, one of three horses in here for trainer Jeff Runko. He also has the five waves and tides who's 12 to one on the line. Runko also has the eight slip the cable who's won three of four starts and is at 10 to one. But at least in the case for the favorite here on the morning line at five to two, 0 for seven this year in 2015, was seven lengths behind Lucy's Bob Boy, who we'll see later on in the program, and we'll touch on him in just a moment. But uh, in the fairway, 0 for seven this year, he could win, but there's multiple horses or multiple directions I think you can go in race number eight. I hit the all button, that's where I hope for a price. Race nine, I find my single. $100,000 stakes event in the pink ribbon for Phillies and Mayors three and up, going seven furlongs. I single the four in Flattering B. She was second in this race last year. From that event last year on September 20th, she ran into a really sharp horse for Robin Graham in her next two starts after that. Then she wins the Violet Handicap by four lengths. She runs really well in the Sugar Maple earlier this spring in April. And then they tried her in the Ski Pat Stakes at Pimlico didn't work out, took her to Saratoga in the shine again, was overmatched versus unbridled forever and stone-tastic as your top two. Then they brought her back to Charlestown, and that's where she's done a lot of her best work. She's been first or second in eight of nine right here locally, and I think she's gonna get a pretty good trip just in the behind the speed. The four in race number nine will be my single. The wild and wonderful stakes for three-year-olds and up going seven furlongs is race number 10. And you have your winner from last year coming right back in here. And that is the seven pants on fire for Kelly Breen. I use him. I make him my top selection. He is coming into this race in not as good as form as he was in 2014. But look where the races he's been in. The grade one Met Mile, two starts back. Behind Honor Code, who won the Met with the 112 buyer, came back to win the Whitney. Your third place finisher, Private Zone, won the Belmont Sprint in the Forgo. He was overmatched. And then he lost to Braidster, who was your odds on favorite in the Monmouth Cup, who went wire to wire, put up a 105 buyer. So I make him my top pick, but the three off the claim for Joe Sharp interests me here at six to one. I thought he ran really well. He's a horse that's earned over 530,000 in his career. And oh yeah, Lucy's Bob Boy goes for three in a row. He's Mr. Charlestown. He's 25 for 35 right here over the local surface. Cannot uh, cannot leave Lucy's Bob Boy off your ticket. So three, four, seven in race number 10. Race number 11 is the feature, the $350,000 Grade three Charlestown Oaks for three year old Phillies going seven furlongs. The one Sarah Sis, nine to five on the morning line. She ran really well in the grade one ballerina last race. Second start off of freshening and she's versatile. She comes off a fourth place finish behind Unbridled Forever. I like the fact that she can go to the lead or she could sit just off like she showed in the grade three Honeybee back in March at Oaklawn. I make my top pick the two. White Clover at nine to two. I thought she ran really well in the grade three Monmouth Oaks. She made a quick move going down the backstretch, then tired uh, at, at the top of the lane, but I still thought she hung on well to finish third in there for Larry Jones. Kerwin Clark in the iron. She is nine to two on the morning line, so two deep for me in the Charlestown Oaks using Sarah Sis and White Clover. So that is a $30 late pick four ticket for me on Saturday at Charlestown. It's a $30 ticket. You can wager on it at tbg.com. 12 race program at Charlestown, 10 stakes events, and it gets underway at five o'clock Eastern.